What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be opening my Ipsy bag with you guys and letting you know my first impressions about what I got this month. And this is something I'm going to be doing every month if this is something that you guys are into, going through my Ipsy bag with you and showing you what's inside of it. And I want to hear what's inside yours too, so please, if you get something better than me, leave it in the comments because I want to know. This one's bag is blue and, what do you call this, holographic? Sort of like multicolored metallic. And the theme for this month is ready to dive into summer. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm pretty happy. I got a Smashbox Studio Skin 24 hour concealer. And this is probably too light for me right now, but this is light and I have a bit of a tan. Not that I mind going too light with my uh, concealer, but uh, I already had makeup on so I can't try this one. I have tried this before. It's really good. So if you guys got this, congrats because this is a good one. This is a good, uh, this is definitely a find. See that? It's very full coverage. Okay, so the next thing I got is a Give Them Lala Beauty lip gloss. So Lala lip gloss. And apparently this color is called The Affair. Ooh, the packaging's pretty, so it's like a little ombre moment. And I guess that company is called Give Them Lala Beauty. I've never heard of them, must be an indie brand, which is sweet. And the color is, oh, it's like a, it's like a dark nude, that's nice. And it's really full coverage too, so it's not like a traditional gloss that's uh, pretty colorless or just a hit of color. This is definitely one you could wear on its own. Does it smell like anything? Ooh, it smells like... Kind of like cupcakes, but also kind of like Play-Doh. But it's nice, I'll wear it for sure. Okay, so the next thing I have in here is from the brand Mint Pear. And it's a Rose Hip Night Serum. And it says how to use, apply daily to renew your youthful skin elasticity by fighting free radicals while you sleep, brush your brighter, smoother complexion. And it claims to be powerful anti-inflammatory, anti-aging blend, stimulates, stimulates collagen and elastin for firmer skin, reduces dark spots, fine lines and wrinkles, and has deep overnight intensive moisturizing properties. Hmm. Well, I'll try that. Um, I've actually never used skin oils before, so it'll be interesting to see if this works or not. I'll let you guys know in the next safety video if this actually did what it was supposed to and gave me youthful skin. Okay, so the next thing I got is from a brand called Briogeo. And it's called Scalp Revival Charcoal Peppermint Oil Cooling Jelly Conditioner. So it says scalp revival, charcoal and peppermint oil, cooling jelly conditioner. That is a mouthful. Uh, contains a lightweight blend of coconut oil and panthenol to condition and hydrate the scalp and hair. A unique blend of peppermint, tea tree, spearmint oils reduce itchiness and irritation while balancing the pH of the scalp. Blah, 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 blah. So how to use, you're just supposed to put it on the same time you'd usually put on conditioner. Hmm. All right, well. So like, I think that uh, allegedly it's supposed to sort of clarify your hair a bit, or maybe just take, uh, sort of reset your pH of your scalp. So if you're somebody who gets uh, dry scalp, which I do, uh, I actually do less now that I bleached my whole head, but um, my hair used, to, my head used to get pretty itchy if I wouldn't wash it every two or three days. But uh, anyway, so I'll give that a shot. And the last thing I got in my Ipsy bag this month is from Ella Eden London. And it just says pressed harmony. So I don't know if it's a blush or an eyeshadow. So I'm gonna open that. I don't know. I think it's an eyeshadow just because it's so small, but sometimes blush samples are this small. I'm gonna get a little brush. I think it's a blush, it's definitely a blush. It's either that or it's not very pigmented because it's, no, I don't know. The color's pretty, it's kind of peachy pink. I'm wearing makeup now, so I'm not gonna try it, but I'm gonna look it 
it up right now and find out what exactly it is. Okay, so it's an eyeshadow. <laughs> I was wrong. Anyways, guys, so uh, so out of my five products, I'm pretty excited about... Oh, this is pretty typical. <laughs> but I'm pretty excited about all the makeup. So the Smashbox concealer, the lip gloss from Give Them Lala Beauty, and also, also this eyeshadow. I, I want to try it from Ella Eden London. Um, as usual, I'm not all too excited about either the hair or the... Um, the skincare, I just don't really care about that kind of stuff. Like, I'll buy that stuff on my own. I would rather get a full Ipsy bag of all makeup, but they, they tend to throw in at least two products that are something besides makeup for me, no matter how many times I adjust my preferences. Um, so what did you guys get this month? What was your favorite? Did you feel like it was a good month or a month where you don't have a lot out of your five that you could use? I feel like for me, just based on the Smashbox alone, it was a pretty great month. Um, this one here is is worth the entire price of my Ipsy bag, so uh, I'm, I'm thrilled with uh, my finds this month, but how did you guys do? Let me know in the comments. <laughs>